Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video, and this is thanks to James. And oh my god. For those interested in requesting any type of videos, PayPal is usually the best bet. Or join my Patreon. Links are down in the info box. It could be wherever you feel like it. Well, it's wherever YouTube is, the info box. But it could be for anything you feel like. A topic, a tier list, a commentary, a video game, let's try, a playthrough, a review, a re-review, whatever the case. Thank you, James, for that. And anyone who has sent it, for those who have, I'll get to it as soon as I can. So James had me watch Bel Air Season 1, Episode 1, that for some godforsaken reason is successful. Got two seasons. Apparently, there's a third season coming out in, I guess, this month. August 2024 that I guess someone did this short fan trailer for a very serious Fresh, fresh Prince of Bel Air which I thought was the dumbest idea but apparently for Peacock who sets cock people liked it it was successful and I'm watching this I'm like why? Take the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. How do you feel about Will Smith nowadays? It was a good show. Like James Avery's Uncle Phil. You know, the original Shredder from the old Ninja Turtles cartoon. Uh, Carlton with the dance, all that stuff. And make it dour and serious and about you know, social status and racism and racism. And. The lead character plays Will Smith, or his name is Will Smith, who is doing well in school and basketball. And I guess Darnell, this game member who likes to drive his three wheelers, challenges him to a game of B ball, which Will wins. So the guy gets pissed, throws the ball, even though there's like 30 damn people on the court. Not one person saw the guy throw the ball and hit this head game guy. Am I really? Not one of you motherfuckers? Like, it's 2022. None of you have a phone that you're recording the damn thing? Which is BS. This whole thing would be recorded with a phone nowadays. Someone would be with this filming the whole damn thing. Hey, but that bullshit, yo. Yeah. Go on YouTube, you can find a ton of b-ballers and basketball street play on YouTube. So, the fact that no one's recording with a phone, it's BS. The fact that no one saw this ball being thrown is BS. And so the guy blames uh, Will's buddy, and they beat down Will's buddy. And Will's buddy had a gun, so Will takes the gun and shoots in the air. And then aims at the guy, the cops come, arrest him. He has connections, Uncle Phil. So, while he's in Philly, he gets packed up and shipped out to California. Because things are a bit rough here, and he's with the wrong crowd, and the Dean guy's going to be looking for him, and all this other stuff. So he goes to Bel Air. And I guess the guy who picks him up, who's the driver, is supposed to be a take on Jazzy Jeff or something? I think it is. Because the driver, I think it's like, his name is Jazz. I think so. I'm like, okay. So he meets Jeffrey, who's a very serious guy, like trying to do his Idris Elba impression. And meets the family. Hillary, Aunt Viv. Hillary's like, oh my god, thanks for coming here. Oh my god. Uh, Carlton, Who's a villain, pretty much. He's a... I mean, yeah, you could say he was a stick in the mud in the original show. Here, he's a complete villain. Oh, Philly City, the brotherly love and cloaked arteries. 
claw do uh, cloaked, claw dogries. Maybe I can't think of the word cloaked because I want to cloak myself and get the fuck out of this fucking show. And like it's trying to have these messages, Uncle Phil fundraiser to be the new DA, talking about how I'm tired of broken system, discarding young black men, and I get it. Racism is a horrible thing. It always will be a horrible thing. It's bad. But it gets tiresome when each show or each theme continually beats you over the head with it as if the only thing about black people is racism. And no, that's not the only thing. Because there are people. And I'm a people, and you a people, and I'm a pepper, and he's a pepper, and would you like to be a pepper too? There's a lot more to black people than racism. That actually seems a bit more judgmental, more of a knock that the only thing that you could do as a story is racism. That seems very limited in your storytelling capability. Like, there's nothing else. I mean, no, I would think there's a whole lot else. Now, if you want to mention every once in a while, I, I get it because it does happen. I'm not saying you, you can't mention it 0%. But for crying out loud, man. When you beat yourself over the damn head with it over and over and over again, it gets tiresome. Like a victim. Like a victim complex. And that comes into play here because uh, Carlton's buddy is white and he's seen these lyrics that are have some N-word among them. And Will confronts him and Carl's like, Carlton's like, chill out, chill out, man. You don't just let him do that? Hang with the culture, Colton. Um, Uncle Phil, the guy who plays him, so far, he's like, he's kind of, he's the nice guy. Kind of subdued. Kind of bland. But he's like, hey, I believe in you. I believe in you will be patient. Just very again, subdued, almost like more of a neutral voice, calm, collected. And it just comes off as a bit bland. Carlton likes to play lacrosse. Hillary likes to dress Will up. Will is trying to talk to people at this fundraiser and talks to a lady who I guess used to go out with Carlton. Although without prickly he is, no wonder she's not with him anymore. So at the party, Carlton sees Will with Lisa. That was her name, which I think she was on the show later on. In the original Fresh Prince. And at the end, at one point, he gets pushed into the pool will does someone helps him out he almost drowns he goes up and punches the white guy and carlton in the face and i'm sitting there going you know what you could have if you change a couple names this might have been boys in the hood the tv show or Menace to Society TV show, or any other show. I mean, that's the thing. Other than the names, that's the only, that's, okay, that's based Fresh Prince, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I just never understood why a serious Bel-Air show, a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, was such an enticing idea to people. I never understood that. So you don't have any of the personality, and let alone any of the humor, any of the wit that was in the original show. Most things are very dour, very serious. I don't know if I want to say melodramatic, but just... 
I don't care about the characters. I don't care. I mean, I wouldn't say the guy playing Will is bad. I wouldn't say that. It's just that... Just a guy from the tre streets in a rich place. Kind of just conversing. I mean, kind of just a typical kid you would see in any number of movies about the hood and about the streets and all that. And that's what I mean. It doesn't really make it feel like anything special or anything unique or anything out of the ordinary, out of the ordinary in a good way. And it seems like Carlton's going to be more of an outright villain. So if you like the character of Carlton, you know, that's what they're going to do with that character. And Viv is just, you know, nice. Uncle Phil right now is just nice. And, uh, again, for some reason, this is successful. I mean, the only other thing to think about what happened is at one point he was going to try to go back home to Philly because his buddy's in trouble. And then at one point, they're going to try to invite his buddy to Bel Air. So what, is it going to be like an extra series version of next Friday? Is Debo going to find where he's at and try to get him when he's in this much more seemingly nicer place? That was that. That's the the much more like dour, you know, serious, bloody version of Friday, into a TV show, where Smokey gets killed in the first episode from a, from the drive by, and then Craig is in rehab and it's like wrecking for a dream. Like, what else? I mean, let's do a reboot of Martin, Martin, but Martin is a crackhead and he owes child support and he's working a dead end job and he's trying to make ends meet and he's dealing with this cross dresser who calls him homophobic five times a week and like dour and serious and depressed like, it's just, I don't understand that such a Stupid idea. I said, I just don't understand the point of it. I don't understand. But you could have made your own show. You're just banking on the name. Of course, like businesses do. Because they want their business profits to go up. I mean, that's a lot of times that's part of the business of show business. You find something or you find property or you find some kind of gimmick. And how do we maximize profits? And obviously it's working because it was getting a third season. That means people are watching. So they were successful. So that means the people who did this made the right decision. And, you know, people seem to like the show. Good on you. Doesn't mean I have to. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.